now that we've prepared you to kick the ball, the next question is, what do you do when you catch it? Obviously, you just kick it, but it's not that simple. We want to talk a little bit about your stepping pattern and how to put your body in the perfect position to hit a good punt. We talked a little bit about momentum coming forward as you catch the ball. That's a great beginning. We want to make sure as our momentum's coming forward, though, that our steps don't get too long. There's something called outrunning your body, which is where your feet get in front of your body, and there's something called letting your body get in front of your feet, which is where you're up over your feet too much. We want to find a happy medium where our shoulders are over the midpoint of our feet. Each and every step we take needs to be under control. One way we can do that is by landing on our toes or the entirety of our feet. We don't want to ever get too much up on our heels as we plant. As you're coming forward, you also want to think about your ball position. We talked a little bit earlier about running this gun barrel down your shoulders with the laces here. Another thing I want to think about is the nose of this ball. The nose should be slightly inside of the outside of the ball here. What this does with our foot position, it allows us to get the foot around the ball without knocking this point up in the air, which won't allow the ball to turn over. If we can drop that ball right on our foot, just like this, and keep the nose inside, we'll get a nice spiral. So again, back to presenting the ball as we take our steps. We want the ball fully outstretched where we catch it, steps under control, and we want that drop to keep the ball in the same position as it is as we carry it, which will allow us as we come through the ball to hit the same ball that we see in our drop.